Hey, what's up everybody? First and foremost, I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. We've had a lot of new subscribers this week. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate all the comments I've been getting on some of these most recent videos. I really appreciate your feedback, and it's been awesome. I've been having a lot of fun with this. But if this is maybe one of the first videos you've watched and you're not a subscriber, if you enjoy the content, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. So anyway, I want to talk to you guys real quick this week. I, um, I actually have a few videos I want to do, but I don't have time to set up some of my equipment and do uh, the better quality sound samples and things like that, because I have a concert to go to this evening and I was already playing this morning and now I gotta go there. But I was thinking I wanted to keep this every Monday morning rolling out a video, and so I film them on Sunday, edit them, and post them in the morning. And it's been working out well, and I'm trying to keep in that routine. But since I didn't have a lot of time to hook up some things to do some of the sound samples on some of the other pieces of gear that I, I want to review, um, I decided to shoot this because this past weekend I decided to try and kind of make shift my own monitor switcher. So I have been looking at them online, they're about $300 for the one that I kind of need, and I was like, I wonder if there's something that I could kind of throw together to kind of make shift my own just in the interim until I finally bite the bullet and pick one of those up. As uh, many of you know, I won the LYD7s by Dyn Audio, and uh, that video is in the channel. I really like those monitors, they're great, but what I want to do is I want to use my older monitors as a, uh, a second reference monitor because they're not quite as good immediately when I switched to the LYD7s. I heard so many things in my mixes that I hadn't heard before in my M-Audio BX5As. So I was, I was hearing things, but I still like to have them as a reference just to kind of get an idea. So I wanted to be able to switch between the two and, and just kind of get an idea like a lot of people do. They keep those, I can't remember what they call them, but there's these little speakers and they, they're not the best quality sounding, but it helps give you a reference when you're doing a mix. What's it gonna sound like coming through earbuds, like consumer grade earbuds, or in a car stereo system, or something like that. It, help, it just helps you get a better idea of the mix. So I was like, well I got some pieces and parts laying around, let's see what I can do. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did here. So as you may have seen in some of my other videos, this is kind of my setup. I uh, put the laptop obviously in the middle there, I use that as my second monitor just because it makes things so much easier when you're working with plugins and things like that. But here are the uh, Dyne Audios LYB7s, like I said check out that video. I really really am liking those monitors, I put them on the Orlock Orlex pads. And uh, But I wanted to be able to use my BX5As, so I what I did is out of my Tascam US1800, there are quarter inch outputs, and what I did is I brought it up to my old Behringer little mini mixing board, and so I put that in the, I'm going to try and adjust the camera here, I apologize for the shakiness there, um, but my stabilizer wouldn't film with that angle. So anyway, what I did is I went to the stereo input, and I just, uh, I just put it at 12 o'clock, and then what I did is I just sent literally um, speaker cable out to the two different sets of monitors from uh, the main mix as well as the control room. So far this has worked pretty well. I've actually really enjoyed the ability to blend the two speakers, um, but there are some cons. Now one of the main cons to this is you have to have the main output up at all times. I was hoping I could just turn my control room output up and it would just go to the M audios and my main mix would go straight to the LYD7s. That's not the case, however. When you um, turn down the master, everything's done. And uh, so I kind of didn't really realize that was going to happen when I first hooked it up, which I probably should have, but I was hoping. And I did it with gear that I had sitting around. Um, but, I mean, if you are looking to be able to switch between two monitors on a budget, uh, this might be a good option for you because you can do a couple of things. You can just turn off the speakers. Uh, one of the great things about those switchers is you're not behind your equipment trying to plug into your mobile interfaces and things like that because it's kind of hard to see back there and, and plug in monitors. So basically all you'd have to do is just turn off the monitors you don't want to hear and, and turn up your control room just to hear the, your, your trash box monitors, essentially. 
So just an idea for some of you guys. I hope that helps you because, like I said, this was a really economical way to do it. I also was going to look into seeing if they had little kill switches for the cable. Um, that way you wouldn't have to turn off your monitors. You could just kill switch on the cable. I know Planet Waves did something like that for a while where they had a guitar cable where you could literally just mute the signal. I wanted to see if they sold like an adapter where I could just put that in the terminals and then plug my cables directly into it. Uh, basically mute out my, my main mix which is going to the LYD7s. So it's kind of a workaround for being able to do something on a budget. It's not perfect. But hey, it will get you by for a while until you can get one of those control boxes for your monitors. So I hope this little tip helps. Um, and please let me know in the comments if you've done something that maybe helps you work around or if you have a specific unit that isn't ridiculously expensive because it's surprising how much it is to get something that switches between monitors. So if you found one that you like, please post that in the comments below. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, you guys. Keep rocking.